Have you ever been curious about hair pieces? Today I will share with you a few of my own hair wraps, clip-ons, and toppers. So hi, are we doing all right today? I'm going to be talking about all of my hair pieces. I decided that uh, I don't have anything new coming in. That's number one. So I didn't, couldn't talk about anything new, but I have all these pieces that I thought I could share with you. And I'm going to try and just kind of walk through each one and and what I think of them overall. So, and I thought I would go based on how, in the order that I got them. And I won't touch base on every one, but as many as I can. So the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is my hair. As you can tell, and hopefully I won't bring it up again. I tend to mention it a lot. I am currently in the process of growing my hair out. So I intentionally left, um, did not wear uh, any any pieces today because I wanted to share that with you. As you can see, I'm pretty gray on the top, so hence my gray pieces, and my colored hair, which is about the uh, a golden wheat sort of color. When I dye it, I use Clairol, the lightest Clairol color. Anyway, and you can see that that pretty much comes out as golden wheat or 1488. And so when I when I'm dealing with my pieces, everything basically is in the gray or the golden wheat colors and I try to um work the best I can based on um trying to make a solid color with my hair based on the pieces that I have. So let's start with piece. My very first piece that I ever I got was from, from QVC. And this is an eight piece um, wavy extension kit. And I'm only gonna show one piece, but this is basically what it looks like. And there's a whole tutorial about how to put them in. You put them across the back of your head and work your way up and you end up with this really nice long hair and i i've had these for a long time i've not used them i've tried to put them in my hair i think somebody else really needs to, who knows what they're doing um, at the time to, to be working with the back of my head um, to, to put them on so that you can use them so i've not done anything with them I only hang on to them because I thought someday if I ever wanted to do some kind of a costume or for something, they they would be great if I could figure out how to how to utilize them. But anyway, it's a nice quality. It's actually by Hairdo, um, Hairdo by Hairwear. It's called, and like I say, there's there's eight pieces, and from a variety of two to three hooks on the back of them. I'm not going to dwell on it that much, but this was my very first purchase. Um, I got it, like I said, I got it from QVC. Um, kind of a fail for me, but it got me started, my very first start in actually wearing pieces. Oh. So After that, which I kept, I went to Ulta and at Ulta, I purchased this um, wrap. This is also by Hairdo, I believe. And it is really nice. It's nice and thick. It's kind of like a wavy, curly, um, part wavy, part cur um, curly. But it's exactly, exactly what I like. Um, it is in the golden wheat color. And it's just got the elastic in there. And you can um, pull your hair back, pull your hair back, pull it up into a ponytail, and pop it on the back. And that works um, really, really good. The other thing that I do, let me see if I can find the piece. 
All right, I really enjoy this wrap. It's one of my favorites of, all, of everything that I've ever gotten. And sometimes if you can't wrap it around on a ponytail or you don't want to do that, you can just wrap your hair up in the top and then I'll use like one of these clips and I'll just, and I use the longer ones too, but you can just pop that over the hair like so, like that. and then it's easier to clip on you can clip it on and it doesn't really matter because you know people are going to think when you got your hair up like that anyway it's in a clip and it's just in a messy bun right so i use that and i'll use um a lot of times i use the longer ones there's ones that are about um four inches long possibly and i use those most of the most of the time um and then i went back and i got another one so i ended up having two and basically so that I could wash one, wear one, wash one, wear one. And I was wearing them every single day, all the time. And then to this, the first My time first that I actually started purchasing with, with Paula Young, I bought the bangs. And these bangs are, work perfectly with this. And I like the long piece here because you can work this to go back up into the back of your hair up on the back you pull it you can pull it back and then um, you can you can put a scarf around your head or or not just depends on on how you're doing it I usually would have it back this would it would be back far enough and this would fall over the front you wouldn't even tell where the one piece started and one piece ended so this has been a really great piece for me um, these are no longer, I, I don't see these. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're probably available somewhere, but um, I bought them both at Ulta. I have not seen them in a while at Ulta, although they do carry they do carry some pieces. I've just not seen this, but I don't go there that much. So, so though, that belong, that's those. And then the bangs, this is A2720 from Paula Young. A2720. Then, um, with my hair, uh, then my hair went gray, and I started wearing a gray, um, a gray piece like this. Same thing. This is again a wrap. This is more of a loose wrap, and it's just a gray wavy, wavy wrap. And then I purchased this one, this curly, this curly wrap. And so this is the wavy clip-on, and it's A3310. It's ten and a half inches long, and um, this one I wore it a lot. Um, no bangs with this one, as you with one. With my hair being gray, I just pulled my hair back and popped this on the back of my head. And I liked it. I got a lot of compliments on this particular piece. It does have a clip in the center, so it just clips on. So pull your hair in a ponytail, pull your hair back up, and um, it hides all, all the other color. So that worked. And I wear this a lot now in the days when I'm just going to keep not, not wear anything special. I'll just pull my hair up into a ponytail and clip this in the back and I'm good to go. So that works with those. And the wavy wrap is A9404, A9404. And it comes in a multitude of colors. So it's always on sale. It's in the, it's in the catalog all the time. So this works. So before I went back to my blonde uh, a year and a half ago, this is, I ordered this one. This is actually this is not a wig, this is a hair piece, and it's sold in the pieces area, and basically it has the, <clears throat> I, I love this thing, it has the braid going across the top. If you don't like the braid, you can always, you know, put some other kind of a band in there. You can't change this out, but you can cover it with something else. You can put a scarf or something 
if you want, or a, 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 a hair band. But this works really nice. It sits back off your head a little bit, so you're gonna you're gonna pull your hair back, and it's gonna sit more or less over the ears. I do have a <clears throat> I did put a video out on this particular one. So anyway, this is the the braided headband with hair. It's a 3025 from Paula Young, and it this one is color 56 in an average. It's got it just has one clip in it which I think is interesting so you just get one clip at the very top so you just kind of put some pins or what I'll do is I'll put um, put my, when I put my hair in a ponytail I'll put my hair in a ponytail right at the very bottom so that it catches um, the back and then it doesn't pull it up so so yeah so I like this one a real lot. I love the curl in it, and uh, it needs to, although it's, it's pretty clean, um, I'd probably wash it, if uh, give it a shampoo, and then a lot of this will tone down a little bit. But one of my favorites, one of my favorites, and um, this is off of Amazon, and it's really nice hair. It feels great and it's got just this patch here and what you do is you just place it on top of your head right here and then blend it in I don't wear it now obviously uh, due to the fact that most of my hair is gray but when I first dyed my hair back blonde I was using it I guess you can color these but um, I'm not I'm not gonna attempt that but it feels really nice and it basically was just supposed to be enough hair to you know to fill in what you're missing up here because I'm because I've told you before my hair is so thin but I do like this but I just never um, I wore it a couple of times and pulled it back and used it just blended it in with my own hair and pulled it up <clears throat> so so that's this as my, my only human hair that I have in my in my menagerie here all right, so then my last piece that I bought is my um, topper. This is the Versa Fiber Versa Fiber Curlable Long Topper A5426 in the color 1488. And so this is basically, if you're interested, what it's going to look like. Um, here it is. Uh, what I did, and it's kind of, it's, it's not in there anymore. I'll have to redo it for the next time. Because I have the gray on the sides, when I would wear this, I can pull it back. And then you can see the gray on my temples, or on the side here. So I, I put some coloring up here. I have a powder, a gray um, powder that I put on my um, head called great hair day and it's in the gray and if you want to cover your scalp up you can put that on your scalp and it makes everything blend in I didn't do that today for purposes because I wanted people to see my half and half hair but this is um, this is really nice and it, it um, I did a video on this the bangs are a little a little short um, I did not cut them, did no trimming of this whatsoever, but I think I like how it uh, looks on the sides, and um, I'm going to, I'm tempted to, to trim my own hair up, but I don't want it to go shorter than this, I, because I think um, sitting on my head and doing some fill, this would be, um, if I did shorten my hair, it would make my bob look even nicer, because you can see the nice shape that it's got. Um, the bangs in the top kind of flutter around, but that's okay. And then, so looking at the underneath, you see that there's two clips on the side. One would go here and here. And there's two clips in the back. So I'll just quick throw this on.
and then clip the backs. And there we go. I don't have gray hair anymore. Just like that. What a difference, right? So I really like this piece. I think it's fun. It looks great. And how easy is it to put on and just change your hair, change your look. Just something so simple. Will I buy another one of these? Yes. I would love to have a gray one for when my hair is all gray. Um, I'm thinking maybe the integration cap. I might like that. Uh, Paula Young's sells an integration camp that, cap that I would like. So anyway, so that's that's what I've got for you today. Don't be afraid of pieces. Sometimes that's really all you need uh, instead of a full-on wig. And I just thought I'd share with you some of these things. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you got a little bit of information from it. I know it was quick, but it's just... You know, a lot of maybe some of you haven't seen all the different kind of pieces that are available to you. So, and there's even more than that. This was just a small, small little bit of it. So, so thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Be safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye now.